Hey guys, 2018 Palomino Solar 205 SS. This is not a review, and I don't make YouTube videos, so you're gonna have to forgive the shoddy work here. I'm just trying to sell the thing, I want to show everybody what it's about. 25 feet from bumper to tongue. Uh, the body itself is just a little bit over 21 feet. Nice big awning on the front. It's got a full fiberglass front cap. There's accent, accent lighting that's in that front cap. You can actually turn that on from the pass-through storage if you want to make it shine a little bit when you're in the campground at night. Two propane tanks under the cover. It's got a Lippert uh, jack there that is new. The original Lippert jack was actually recalled under warranty. That has been replaced. It's got the fast way flip up on the bottom of the jack. Makes you tracking that jack really fast and simple uh, once you're connected to the truck. And we've got the bungee cord on the tear away emergency brake there it keeps that up out of the way as you're towing so hopefully you don't jerk that sucker out accidentally uh, the connections that are there there's another one on the other side that goes with the equalizer weight distribution system that is all part uh, of the sale of this camper as well slide out on this side it does have a slide topper on top of that it keeps leaves and debris from blowing in there uh, when you're camped under trees and those kind of things Extremely clean camper. It is like new condition. Very well taken care of. The only days that it spins outside are camping days. We have a large warehouse that we're actually able to keep this thing in for storage. It is climate controlled. Black water flush on this side for your black tank. There's your outside shower. There's your connection for your cable and your satellite. That's kind of a courtesy light there. You can turn that on at night if you're hooking up close to dark to be able to see what you're doing a little bit easier. And then just above that is your connection for your 30 amp shore power. There's your connection for your gray water, black water sewer line. Stabilizer jacks, which it comes with a little connection that will snap into a drill to be able to crank those down. You don't have to do that by hand anymore. The bumper does have uh, space for a septic line, but my sewer line would not fit. So this actually spans the whole body of the of the unit, and uh, there fits 20 feet of septic line inside of that. Low water drain. The belly of this thing is completely enclosed and insulated as well. I don't know what it's rated to as far as cold temperatures go, but it, uh, it can handle some cold. There's your fresh water connection to fill your tank, uh, onboard tank. There's city water connection if you're hooking up to uh, a water line with some pressure behind it. There is your hot water heater. This is a small uh, entry to the pass-through storage. I guess they had to do it this small on this side for the hot water heater. Doesn't make it super easy to get anything large in and out of there, but uh, it is pretty nice for your electrical cord, um, your septic caddy those kind of things they all sit right in there it's easy to get to this is the pass-through storage on the other side big door here of course all these have the magnetic catches at the top to hold those doors open for you you can see how big that is. This light on the side is actually motion detects the light. It can be turned on full time or all full time, but we leave it in the motion mode. So when you open that door, it comes on automatically. You can see what you're getting to. The switch next to it is actually the switch that talked about that turns on the um, accent lighting on the front cap. And the next to that is a port that you can hook up solar panels there if you want to charge your battery off a solar panel. There's fully electric awning. Pretty good looking wheels. We got speakers on the outside. There is a radio that doubles as a CD DVD player on the inside. All that music can be popped outside if you wanted to, anything you're listening to. There's also a 110 outlet and a cable connection there if you want to have an outside TV. It has the solid steps that kind of flip up and lock in place and open the door and they lock in place when you're traveling. Very nice, very solid, uh, love those things. 
Got the tube on the back that has your full size spare. There is your uh, refrigerator furnace. And we've got lights on the back. Of course, a place for your tag. There is a place up top that's pre wired for backup camera if you so need, but camper this size, I've never needed anything like that. It's a 205 SS. It does have the super flex roof. It's friction door, so wherever you let it go is kind of where it stays. Uh, it's pretty nice. The wind doesn't seem to blow it around. It also has the screen door on the inside. Just trip this if you're wanting to use a screen door and leave this door open. That closes, slides back in place. Now you've got a screen door access from in and out. You just press this from inside or outside and opens that door and then you can always lock it back into place when you're finished. Looking into this corner, lining's not that great, but you can see there's storage there on the bottom. Control, control center, you got storage again at the top. Nice big refrigerator freezer combo. Door to the bathroom, spin around and show you these storage cabinets. Tall, a little narrow, a really nice place for big pans, cutting boards, anything you need to put in there like that. You're going to hear me say a lot about storage when I'm showing this thing off. We're kind of like the camp cooks when we go out. We cook from anywhere to 15 to probably 18 people on average when we go, and I'm able to store everything on here somewhere. Uh, really nice. Medic fridge. It is the propane and electric. So if you're hooked to shore power, run electric to cool everything. A lot of times we'll plug it in at home, get all our stuff in there, get everything chilled down, and then when we go, we'll switch it over to gas and it will run off the propane as we're going down the road and keep everything frozen and nice and cool for us. Open those up. Nice size fridge. I mean nice size freezer. Nice size fridge, couple shelves on the bottom, plenty of space on the side for your ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, drink of choice, whatever it may be. On this bathroom door, nice size sink, a little bit of storage down below. Maybe it's a cabinet up above. shelves there those bungee cords are just to keep things from kind of flipping out when you open this up when you get traveled wherever your destination is so everything doesn't spill out in the sink got 110 outlet there here's the light switch for the bathroom you can walk in and hit that turn that on corner shower it's a good size you can't do jumping jacks in there but it is adequate and a nice skylight just above to give plenty of light in there. And then this does close. Kind of walk into in a position where you're traveling. Porcelain foot flush toilet. We have a big cabinet above for toiletry towels. Those kind of things. There's also a a fan in the vent in here. You got your AC outlet in here, and there is a furnace outlet in here as well. This room stays comfortable along with the rest of the coach. Big pantry not next to the door to the bathroom. Really love this. All kinds of space in here. Stuck some little clip on lights to the top of all those, but deep cabinets, big cabinets. All the way across. Same thing on the bottom, there's two more down below. Thermometer for the AC, furnace, fan, all located there. Try to finish with the kitchen. 
there's a TV that's on the wall. It is on a swing mount, so it can pull out and swing around if you're on the bed wanting to watch TV. Uh, there's a digital antenna that's all part of that. You press a button uh, right back here to, to turn that on and off. Some USB ports there if you get to run anything. There is a Chef Magic microwave. Some large storage right over top of the sink. Water in there. Big towel holder, back of a single big bay stainless sink. So got the faucet there, so that does pull out to be able to move around. Two drawers for utensils, they're deep drawers. Some storage below, small little storage there that actually passes through into the larger storage on this side, big enough for pots, those kind of things. Suburban oven stove mix has a solid top. Stay closing on top if you all want to work off one surface, one solid surface. This will fold back, of course, out of the way if you need to get to the, the three burner stove. Folds back down, and there's a place in the back for knives if you want to keep your knives handy there. I like that thing's pretty neat. Uh, of course, a uh, hood range right there, hood vent. We've got the light and fan inside that that vents outside if you're cooking on top of the stove. Adequate space there, two really big drawers, super nice. Put a lot of things in there. Um, remote for the television, some coffee pot things. Some odds and ones that are in there. Both of those are the same. Of course, your carbon monoxide detector at the bottom down there. Spin around try to give you an overall view. It's a jackknife sofa. That sofa is not the original one that came with the unit. The one that came with the unit a kid couldn't even stretch on. It was so small, it had armrests on the side, which really cut down the length of everything. So I was able to find that to go back in its place. It fits perfectly. That is the slide out that you're looking at that extends out, fits perfectly in there. Uh, I don't remember if it's 72 or 75 inches wide. It's big enough for an average size adult to be able to stretch it on two adults, actually. Uh, really nice. Let me try to open that up for you so you can see. back up and then if you just use it to sit around that folds down and you've got a couple of drink holders as well. There's also a space behind this. I don't know that I can really show you, but it's a pretty nice space. We actually kept our camp chairs folded up. We go back there and um, kept a little um, vacuum back behind there. So it was pretty neat, neat place to create some storage. And overhead there is some flip up storage and this storage goes the whole way through uh, it goes all the way over to the other side so that hole again at the top is storage if you want it to be big window shades we got those pulled just to try to help with the lighting in here a little bit as far as the bedroom goes you got a window on either side big queen size bed mirrored wardrobes on either side the same type of storage that you just saw again overhead that's all open up top some accent lighting overhead those two lights that you see down there below or kind of like reading lamps you can reach up and turn those on and off at night if you need to there's a shelf that you're seeing right there we use that to hold cell phones and things like that is not at night to charge and you've got a 110 outlet on either side and there is a switch up there to turn off the accent lighting if that kind of like the last light you turn off at night you don't have to get out of bed to do that queen size bed does flip up the front there's some storage here really nice for a couple of my cast iron stuff there's 
your wardrobe on this uh, hanging clothes. Same thing on the other side. And there's also this little trap door that we kept a hamper in the pass-through storage. You just throw your dirty clothes in there so they wouldn't be stinking up and taking up room in the camper. I think that hits most of the high points. Trying to get back so you can get an overall view of everything, kind of the layout of it all. There is one other feature on here that I haven't really talked about, something that I added. I don't know if you heard of it, if you can see this little box right back in there. It is a Level Mate Pro. So I'm able to turn a switch once we pull into a campsite and turn the switch on and off. Here are the two beeps. You can pull out your cell phone and open the Level Mate Pro app. And this thing is set up. It will connect to this. You can actually be in the truck, the range is that far. And it can tell me how far I, I, I am, high or low, left or right, how many inches, high or low, front to back, however many inches. You go ahead and pull out the Anderson levelers, roll up on that dude if you need some side to side leveling. Once you disconnect from the truck, you adjust the front jack for up and down and you're done. So easy, so simple. Here's the Furion radio that we talked about, radio DVD player, CD player that will play inside and it will play on the outside speakers as well, depending on which zone you have selected. I think that's pretty much everything. If you need some more pictures, if you need something to explain more in depth, let me know, I'll be glad to do so. Thank you.